Julius Jones set to be executed in just 13 days. And now local religious leaders are pleading with the governor to take the pardon and parole board's recommendation and spare his life. Jones, convicted in the 1999 murder of Edmund father Paul Howell, News 4's Bria Berry joins us with details on today's happenings. Bria. Well, that's right, Heather. And the pastors are asking for the governor to show Julius Jones some mercy. They believe if the governor does not, the decision could spark civil unrest. Within your grasp today, Mr. Governor, is a matter of life and death. And the clock is ticking for Julius Jones. A group of Oklahoma pastors now praying and asking Governor Stitt to show Jones mercy. It was our sincere and honest desire to meet with you in person. But you have declined an in-person meeting. The Baptist Ministers Association claiming the governor declined a face-to-face -face meetup with the group. And now they are gathering in front of the Capitol, praying Stitt commutes Jones's sentence. He's on death row for the murder of Edmund businessman Paul Howell in 1999, a murder he says he didn't commit. I am not the person responsible for taking Mr. Howell's life. For the first time in 20 years, Jones speaking out at his pardon and parole clemency hearing Monday. I was not present during this robbery, and I did not know that anyone had been killed until the day after Mr. Howell was murdered. The victim's family also pleading with the governor to move forward with Jones's execution and hoping he does not grant clemency. He isn't innocent. He isn't a good person. He is a murderer, a liar, a thief, a sociopath, a gang member. The pardon and parole board voting three to one, recommending clemency for Jones. But the final decision is up to the governor who can decide to take the board's recommendation, change it, or do nothing. And if he does nothing, Jones will be executed on November 18th, barring any last minute stays. We simply believe as believers that our state should not take a life that it cannot give. Wednesday, the attorney representing Jones and three other death row inmates filing this appeal, claiming the Oklahoma's execution protocol is using inmates as human guinea pigs. News 4 tried to get a comment from the governor's office, but we have yet to hear back. On Monday, he said he will not have a comment until he has made a final decision in the case. And now faith leaders are afraid about what could happen if the governor denies clemency. We are also very concerned about the potential for civil unrest if the state proceeds with the execution of Mr. Jones. And again, the final decision is now in Governor Stead's hands. Now he can approve the board's recommendation, change it, or deny clemency altogether. If he denies clemency, Jones would be executed on November 18th.